But growth, we know, is not an option anymore because growth entails an, an increased ecological footprint and we must find other ways to develop the economy without growing the GDP with all the ecological consequences attached. And so we need to redistribute wealth. We need to ensure that any development of the economy benefits the people in the lower um, income quintiles. We need, in other, in other terms, not to depend on growth anymore in order to reduce poverty and inequalities. And so that is the first reason why um, uh, combating um, uh, poverty and reducing inequalities is really key to achieving a sustainable society. Uh, secondly, um, in any ecological transition, we need to ensure that the measures adopted are perceived as legitimate by the population and that the sacrifices are equally spread. So the more equal a society is, the easier it will be to achieve a consensus around certain measures that will um, imply transformations in people's lives. The climate crisis is, um, has not disappeared as a result of the pandemic and the accompanying economic and social crisis. And there's a big risk that in the economic recovery plans we are now adopting, we forget about the climate crisis, which uh, is not simply a short-term crisis we can address by changing our behavior during six months or a year, as we do for the pandemic. It is um, something that is really the struggle of a whole generation to move us towards a more sustainable pathway.